Hey y'all, it's Nick from Undefeated Productions. Welcome back. And this one, we have a trade that has sent uh, former Kansas City Royals closer Trevor Rosenthal to the San Diego Padres. Before we get started, hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for the support you showed on the Tommy Listell trade video. More trades coming your way. All right, this trade is a very, very big one. This failed San Diego's Padres bullpen that has looked awful this year. I mean, Kirby Yates has not looked good. Uh, Emilio Pagan, who they acquired to make to bolster that bullpen, hasn't looked good. The only player that look has looked good so far this season is Drew Pomeranz, and he's on, on the IL right now. Rosenthal in 2020 has a 3.29 ERA, seven saves, 13 two thirds innings pitched, 21 strikeouts, and a 1.171 WHIP. Crew rise in 354 innings. Rosenthal has a 3.46 ERA, 128 saves, 473 strikeouts, and a 1.347 WHIP. The Royals here. Made, took a flyer with uh, with Rosenthal. They picked him up just uh, hoping that he would do good and you'd be able to get some value for him at the trade deadline. And look at Trevor Rosenthal. He's he's putting back his to he's go, he's turned back into you know uh, his 2015 form. Uh, in 2015, uh, he was an All Star. He got 17th in uh, MVP voting, where he had a 2.10 ERA and 68 two thirds innings pitched for the Cardinals. So Rosenthal does have the uh, pass. The uh, Royals took a flyer with Rosenthal, as I said, and it's turned out for them so far. One of the players going over to uh, Kansas City in this trade is outfield prospect Edward Oliveris. Uh, Oliveris is 24 years of age. Uh, he has a 45 hit, 50 power, 60 run, 60 arm, 55 field, and overall 45. Edward is the 20th ranked prospect in a loaded San Diego prospect pool. We know the Padres uh, farm system is very, very loaded, so... This trade here, sending a number 20th prospect, may easily be a mid-10, like a mid-10s a prospect. Could be 13th in this Royals organization. But there's also reported a second prospect going, but it has not been announced yet. Overall for this trade, I think the Padres and Royals, they both are making an amazing trade here. The Padres are giving up a prospect for a very, very, very solid reliever, and this is filling a hole. The Padres have clearly shown to us so far this season that they are a playoff team, and I think it is great that they're acquiring this, and the Royals are getting prospects for someone you took a flyer on. Great trade by the Royals. I think the Royals probably end up winning this trade because of the, what the, what they ended up getting him for. They signed him uh, to a, a small deal, one-year deal, and they got a top prospect for him. But overall, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hit the uh, like button and subscribe. Uh, more trade videos coming up. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.